Breaking right now, the U.S. government is expected sh to shut down in less than one hour. Within the last 30 minutes, in a procedural vote, the Senate rejected a funding measure to avoid a shutdown. President Trump tweeted leading up to the vote saying, quote, not looking good for our great military or safety and security on the very dangerous southern border. Dems want to shut down in order to help diminish the great success of the tax cuts and what they are doing for our booming economy. Now the House has passed a short term bill to fund the government through February. However, the Senate could not get the 60 votes needed to pass that measure. A handful of Republicans joined Democrats in voting against it. They did and Democrats want protections for the dreamers before they sign on to any deal and a budget extension of a few days. Republicans reportedly wanted a four week extension and funding for the Children's Health Insurance Program known as CHIP. Kentucky Senator Rand Paul was one of the Republicans who voted against the motion. The situation, though, is still very fluid. At this hour, it's not clear if the Senate will vote again before midnight. A shutdown would have a ripple effect, folks. 800,000 federal employees would not get paychecks, but other vital services that include Social Security and military operations, those continue. Yeah, nine on your side's Kristen Swilly breaks down the impact a shutdown could really have on thousands of children brought to this country illegally. Kristen? Yeah, good evening, guys. The Deferred Action for Childhood Arrivals Program, better known as DACA, is scheduled to expire March 5th if the government can't reach a solution. It's been a major sticking point for both sides in the larger debate about immigration. We spoke to a tri-state woman whose future hangs in the balance. We're people. We're not just bargaining chips. Time is running out in Washington, D.C. and right here in Florence, Kentucky. 239 days. That's so long Aira Avila is legally allowed in the United States under a work permit. That we're just tossed around like facts and figures and used as political pawns is just so frustrating. The Xavier University student was born in Veracruz, Mexico. Her parents brought her here illegally when she was four. She's now 22, and with the promise of DACA protection slipping away by the minute, she may soon be starting over in a country she doesn't know. My only thing that, that I can do is just wait and see what happens. The unfortunate reality is that for a lot of people who qualified for DACA, if the program ends, they're back into a situation where they're really many times without an available remedy. As her own deadline looms, Avila says she welcomes a shutdown if it forces people to confront the immigration problem head on. I do want people to see the gravity that we're in. I want them to know that it can happen large scale. Now, Blake Summers, the attorney you just heard from, says Dreamers do have a few options. A recent preliminary injunction designed to prevent the shutdown of DACA is under review. Immigration services will continue accepting renewal applications in the meantime. Craig.